بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ان شاء اللہ ٹو ڈے وی ول ڈسکس اینا دا ٹاپک وچ از اناٹمی آف ہارٹ دس ول بی ایکچولی اے ریویژن اور یو کین سی دس از اے سمرائز لیکچر آف دا پریویس لیکچرس اوکے سو وی ول اسٹارٹ دی اناٹمی آف ہارٹ فسٹ آف آل یو شوڈ نو ہاؤ مینی چیمبرز آر دیئر ان دا ہارٹ دیئر آر فور چیمبرز ان دا ہارٹ سی ہیئر دس از اپر رائٹ چیمبر وچ از کالڈ ایز رائٹ ایٹریم اینڈ دس از دا اپر لیفٹ چیمبر وچ از کالڈ ایز لیفٹ ایٹریم دا اپر چیمبرز آر کالڈ ایز ایٹریا اور ایٹریم اینڈ دا لوور چیمبرز دے آر کالڈ ایز وینٹریکل سو دیر از ون رائٹ وینٹریکل آن دا رائٹ سائڈ اینڈ لیفٹ وینٹریکل آن دا لیفٹ سائڈ from another point you can say that this is the right side of the heart or the right sided heart and this is left side of the heart on the right side this is right atrium and right ventricle and on the left side this is left atrium and left ventricle now we will discuss the circulation of blood in the heart how the blood is circulated see here in the right atrium there are two main veins which are opening can you see here this is the upper vein which is called as superior vein and this is the vein which is coming from below side this is called as inferior vena cava these veins they are opening in the right atrium of the heart superior vena cava is bringing the deoxygenated blood from the upper half of the body and the inferior vena cava is draining the blood the deoxygenated blood from the lower half of the body they are collecting the deoxygenated blood in the right atrium of the heart from the right atrium the deoxygenated blood will go in the right ventricle of the heart see here this is right ventricle of the heart and this is the tricuspid valve tricuspid valve tri means three and cusp They, these are present in the valves they are acting just like doors of the valve the door can open and can close just like that door this valve can open and close okay they are unidirectional valves which will allow only one direction flow of the blood see here the deoxygenated blood will pass from right atrium of the heart to the right ventricle of the heart through the tricuspid valve tricuspid valve okay we will discuss each and everything in detail from the right ventricle the deoxygenated blood will pass to the pulmonary artery or pulmonary trunk through the pulmonary valve can you see here the pulmonary valve okay this is pulmonary why it is called as pulmonary valve because it is allowing the blood from the right ventricle to the pulmonary trunk the pulmonary trunk will divide into two main arteries these arteries are going to the lungs that is the deoxygenated blood is carried from the right ventricle to the pulmonary trunk to the lungs for oxygenation in lungs the oxygenation will occur and the oxygenated blood will come in four pulmonary veins two on the left side and two on the right side these four pulmonary veins they will open in the left atrium of the heart see here these four pulmonary veins they are bringing the oxygenated blood from the lungs into the left atrium of the heart left atrium is the upper left chamber of the heart from the left atrium the oxygen Oxygenated blood will pass from the left atrium to the left ventricle through the mitral valve. See here, this is mitral valve. Okay, from the left ventricle to the aorta. See here, the oxygenated blood will pass from left ventricle to the aorta. This is the aorta, which is the biggest vessel in our body. This oxygenated blood is distributed to all over the body. Uh, through different arteries this valve is called as aortic valve aortic valve okay because why it is called as aortic valve because it is in between the left ventricle and the aorta or it is passing the blood from the left ventricle to the aorta 
so from the aorta the oxygenated blood is supplied to all over the body see here from the right atrium and left atrium the blood is passed into lower areas which are the ventricles the right and the left ventricles so the upper chambers the right and the left atria they are low pressure areas whereas the right ventricle and left ventricle they are draining or they are taking the blood out of the heart the right ventricle will take the blood to the lungs and the left ventricle will supply the blood the oxygenated blood to all over the body so they are high pressure areas they are high pressure areas okay see this diagram can you see this diagram see here the heart is pyramidal in shape with its apex see here the apex is the pointed end of the heart this apex is over the left fifth intercostal space remember this level left fifth intercostal space it is directed downwards forwards and to the left and it is at the left fifth intercostal space this apex is very very important this surface which is shown here in this diagram is the sternocostal surface or the anterior surface i will tell you how many surfaces are there how many borders are there we have discussed the chambers but we will discuss the chambers in detail also okay so first of all understand this diagram this diagram is showing the anterior surface of the heart the anterior surface is also called as the sternocostal surface of the heart why it is called as the sternocostal surface because it is related with the sternum and the ribs that's why it is called as sternocostal surface sternocostal surface okay